there is, I don't know, 50-50 chance, 60-40, 70-30, that a Justice Kavanaugh would repeal Roe versus Wade. Maine Independent Senator Angus King ahead of Kavanaugh's confirmation vote. He then went to vote no. Republicans say that will become a rallying cry to get their voters out to the polls in November. We asked Senator King to come in and join us for the discussion. He was unable. Invitation stands. But joining us now, current Maine State Senator, Republican Eric Brakey, who is challenging King for his seat. Good to see you, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, obviously, Susan Collins of Maine certainly made some massive headlines over her vote on the Kavanaugh confirmation. Are you going to be able to ride those coattails? I think that Maine people are outraged by the bullying we've seen uh, put against our Republican U.S. Senator Susan Collins. We're outraged. The death threats that have been sent to her office were outraged that people were sending coat hangers to her office with implications on certain issues. You know, Maine people are made of stern stuff. We're not going to be bullied. We're going to stand up and we're going to let our voice be heard this November. We're going to kick Angus King out and show uh, that Maine people, sir, well, Maine people stand for it. Where, where does a late surge come for you? Because there's not a lot of polling. Uh, there's certainly not a lot of national money heading up to your race. How do you try in the next 30 days to change that? We're already seeing a surge happening. We Tell me just about did, it. We uh, conducted a new poll showing that we've jumped 11 points in the polls in just the last few weeks. This is a competitive race. We are on a trajectory to win. We're going up in the polls, and Angus King is coming down in the polls. So Angus King, uh, he describes himself as an independent. He caucuses with the Democrats. Here is one of your ads about him. We'll take a listen, and then we'll get your reaction. In D.C., there's a king. His reign over Maine, marked by hardship, broken promises, a middle class left behind. Independent for the people? That's a joke. Hmm. All right, so you're talking about a middle class left behind. At the same time, Republicans, especially the president and the congressman we had on earlier, is talking about how the economy's never been better. Which is it? Well, when Angus King was governor of the state, he bankrupted the state of Maine. He left us a billion dollars in debt and that uh, destroying jobs and sending our kids away to have to go find jobs in other states. As our senator, he's racked up trillions of dollars in debt. He's got Washington, D.C.'s boot on our economy, and it's hurt our ability. Uh, we have... Hold on, sir. I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm missing, though, the connection in, in terms of... Are you saying that Maine's middle class is still suffering because of Angus King or suffered in the past, because Republican talking points right now are that the middle class has never been doing better because of President Trump. After the last eight years of reforms on the state level, including the reforms we've seen recently on the national level, we're climbing out of the recession that Maine's been in since Angus King's reign over Maine as governor 16 years ago. We've got more jobs, but we still need better jobs. We still need the kinds of jobs that people can earn a living on and raise their families on. Mm. We need the kinds of jobs that'll bring our kids back to Maine who have left us so long ago. Uh, we still have a lot of work ahead of us. We've made progress, but we're not done. Well, we understand uh, your position. We appreciate you being on 30 days now uh, until Election Day, and we hope you come back and talk to us uh, sometime before, sir. Glad to be on with you. Thank uh, you for having me. All right. All the best. Have a lobster roll for me.